Hello, good evening, welcome to Gav's Drums. I've changed the camera set up a wee bit, it's a wee bit lower. I've changed the table so I hope you can see everything. So what we're going to do tonight, Karen, back six, heavily peated. See it? You see it? That's it. Let me see the light. So it's back six, heavily peated, called Karen. 49 pounds, June 22, good price, uh, 57.4 volume, heavily peated, single malt, Glen Gale, Campbelltown, doesn't give you much more about it, about it than that, um, I've had a wee taste of it, Nice speed when you pour it, very nice speed when you pour it, must admit. Uh, you can have a wee look at it. Obviously sherry and bourbon. I think there's more sherry in it than there is bourbon. Got a funny feeling it's refilled sherry. So, without shaking it, we'll look at the legs. Again, it's hard to see in the camera. Uh, nice legs. Hanging quite well, quite thin, moving very slow. Very, very slow. I always like to see that. I don't like to see legs flying down the glass and I like to see them thin. But that's got to do with ABV. So, we know is. See? The CSA is heavily peated, there is peat in there, there's no doubt about it in it, but I don't think there's a peat bang, like say, what an isle a, a beg, or a frog, or any of these guys, there's no that peat belt in there, but there is peat in it. It's... When you say it was heavily peated, there's definitely peat in there, I wasn't saying it was heavily peated. It's a nice nose. I'm getting the sweetness for the sherry casks. Marzipan. Getting more sherry than bourbon, without a doubt. Pete's coming through now. Look, right, Miss Gail, you should go. See what that does with it. Okay. Try again. A wee bit more, a wee bit more peat in it now. Coming through. It's not a peat blast, it's a nice peat. That noise you hear the rain in the conservatory roof. Sweet. Sherry. What about spice in there? More sherry notes than bourbon notes, no doubt about it. Again, don't know what age it is, but um, I've got them all actually. I've got one, I've got three, I've got five, and that's six. That's me just opening six. So, we taste. Mm. Lovely mouth feel. It's just for me it's for me it's so sherry. It's the, the sherry's dominating that. It really is. It's nice. The sherry and the peat just seem to be blending together nicely. Um a Christmas cake. Typical, typical sherry, Tip a nice sherry, a nice sweetness, there's no bitterness in it whatsoever, none whatsoever, the sweetness, it's no dry, it's no dry, try again. Oh I like that, 
and really like that. Let's just get my power bang on. I wouldn't say it was heavily beaded. Definitely not for me. I think the sherry and the peat is just right. The sherry is taming the peat, I think. Oh, it's coming back. Oh, there's no bitterness in that at all. I'm looking for a bit of bitterness coming off the bourbon. It's no, it's just a lovely, lovely sweetness, slightly dry. Let's put a wee bit of water in it to see what that does. So, a wee bit of water, see what that does. I like this, I really do it. Ah, now we're getting peat. Now the water's bringing the peat alive. It's not a bang, but it's a lot more peat in it now. Without a doubt. Oh, aye. You taste. Take the power down a bit. I could probably drink that straight, you know. At 54%. I really could. Sourness. I'm going to say the sourness is trying to come through, but that's because I'm my brain. I'm looking for the sourness. I'm looking for a balance here. I'm looking for it, and I'm getting it very, very, very slightly because I'm trying to. I'm trying to find it. Uh, lovely. Twenty-nine pound. Nine-inch statement. Batch 6, worth every penny, no doubt about it. Well, a wee bit of ranting, see if I've got time. The Oswalds, great idea. Last year I was really disappointed in it, because Caden Heads wasn't even mentioned in it. And once again this year, Caden Heads is not mentioned again. I don't get it. I think it was 52 or 56 eh, people were asked, to dominate the whiskies at each categories. Um, a lot of good whiskies in there. One of the basic whiskies, um, again, I would have put um, Hazelburn. I would have put Hazelburn in there. It's not mentioned. Nobody mentioned it. It'd be interesting to know if it was mentioned at all. But I find that, well, I need to believe it. Because uh, these guys are honest. But I'm just so surprised that no donkeys put. Caden heads in it. Just look at my shelves. I read all the Caden heads. So maybe I'm biased. I don't know. But I'm really, really surprised. I'll be disappointed um, if Springbank don't get the best of story again. They win it last year. So we shall see. I've done my voting. I'll not tell you what I voted for, but I've done my voting because I don't edit. <sighs> My Zoom, meet, my, my Zoom meetings, I don't edit these um, bits, so what I want to do is wait and see and it'll be interesting. It's like I've eaten and eaten and night, it'll be interesting what MD's saying. Is it just me that is disappointed that Caden Heads isn't in it? I'm really, really, really disappointed to him, but, but that's it. But back to this, worth every penny. Crack and dram. I don't know how much much was many bottles were done in this. Not chill forward, not added coloured. Doesn't he say you've got the usual things in the bottom? I can't see what it says how many bottles were done. Mm. Distilled by Mitchell's. Mm. No, it doesn't he say. Um would I buy this? Certainly. No doubt about it. So, had a wee rant. Thanks for watching Gav's Drams. If you can get this, if you like, if you like a share, a, a mild sherry, this is this is the, the boy for you. I don't think it's ever repeated. I think the sherry is dominating the peat in a nice way. And I think it's a cracking gram. I don't know the split, how much bourbon, how much sherry. Uh, 
but the sherry's, if there's bourbon in it, the sherry's definitely dictating it. Um, you wonder what age some of this stuff, if they put older stuff in it, you just, you'll never know. Again, I think there could be older stuff in this. It's a lovely sweetness. Demonary sugar. Some tannins. Winter night. That's your boy. Well, thank you very much for watching Gav's Drums. Stay safe, Gav. Guys. Whiskies were sharing. Don't get drunk. Go on your eyes, was, And see what you think the best whiskey but uh, you've got a choice of six out of so many categories it's quite interesting and take care and i'll see you next week thanks for watching gams drums bye